much over 400 meters is madness and the difference it makes hello everybody and welcome back to the channel you join us here in the east of london at mile end athletics track and stadium because yeah today i've got a really sort of fun session to do so we've got the big half marathon at the weekend on sunday it's thursday today so just a little warm up so i'm just getting the legs moving nicely so we yeah some k repeats some 400s and some 200s but i've got a little twist on the session today which we'll have a chat about in a minute so i should make some fun content for you guys so yeah thanks for following along right i'm off to a little warm up Guys, so yeah, it's very, very cold. It's about two degrees this morning. It's been snowing or well, sleeting this morning. Uh, we're now here at sort of lunchtime and it's all gone, so warmed up a little bit. But the track, yeah, it's a little bit slippy. But so, anyway, today I'm going to do 4x four by K, 4x400. Four by the twist is I'm going to be using four different pairs of shoes. And I just for no other reason of just I'm curious I just want to run some splits and just see what they're like so I went out to the Catherine yesterday and spent nine pounds 99 pence on the cheapest pair of shoes anywhere available in the UK uh, yeah from Decathlon Decathlon didn't rate these shoes very well even on their own account they got a sort of one out of five for everything they classify the most I'm just curious what they're going to be like i haven't worn them for a step yet we're going to get them out on the track today and just see if you spend a ten on a pair of shoes are they awful are they actually not too bad or are they really just like all the others and then the second contender it's going to be the 1080 v10s uh yeah check out the review up here um just third contender one of my absolute favorites the hoka only only carbon x gonna get those out for a good roll around the track and then the flagship the ultimate the speed uh, speed issue out there the nike next percent yeah in uh the fluorescent sort of lime green color so yeah it's just a bit of fun no scientific thing just see what it's like look at the splits look at the data look at stride length look at cadence and things like that afterwards as i say guys no not a scientific test here just making a video having a bit of fun doing the session and getting ready for the weekend right guys here we are ready for the first rep got the decathlon 999 shoes on for the first one yeah, all the reps will start here for the K and they'll finish on the other side of the track being 400, 400 and then 200 for the K and then I'll just jog slowly back round, change the shoes for the next one and then head out on the next K. So I don't know how long the recovery is going to be exactly but it'll be a bit of jog, change your shoes and go two to three minutes or something like that. Right, let's get this show on the road. Can I have some cheers and some likes of the Decathlons, the underdog shoes out there trying to do all they can for just 9.99. Right guys, I hope you enjoy this one. I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens in the watch. And then we'll start with the first lap. Ready, let's go. That was hard work. They were so squeaky. Very squeaky shoes. <laughs> Not much support in any way. For the speed I was going, I was working pretty hard. 3.13 for the first rep in the decathlons. The first marker is on the board. Right, rep number two, three minute rest there. Let's go. If anybody thinks I'm trying to be trying more in the faster sheets, I'm not at all. That is giving it my all. So, 308. A little bit oh. quicker. What's that? About four seconds quicker for 13 times the price. Poker Carbon X's. Let's go. 1K. Woo! See you in a bit.
percent, 1K. Let's go. incredible piece of kit all done a bit change shoes and we've got it would be quite close yeah I thought they would be miles ahead and I probably thought these would be a bit slow right guys 400 got the decathlons back on let's give this a cracking effort. Let's go. Alright, 71. Oh. Here we go. Time for the new balance. Whoa! Connectors, another outing, 400 meters. Let's go! Eight seconds. Which over 400 meters is madness. And the difference it makes. All the other shoes exactly the same, and then this. Right, time for a cool down. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Gave it my all, and all those reps. Right guys, just on a little warm down jog, always important to do your warm downs, don't just do a session and then stop. But yeah, I am really, even I know those Nike shoes are fast, but even I wasn't expecting that fast. I was absolutely spent on those 400s. I really gave it all on the cheaper shoes, on the 1k reps, and I was really done by the 400s. And yeah, I'm pretty blown away by just how fast we are, but we'll have a look at the data. Is it taking the fun out of sport? What do you think about the whole Nike debate and all the controversy? Do we need to start looking at resetting records? Loads of carbon shoes coming out this year. Everything is progressing super, super fast. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. I'll be putting my thoughts together in a video coming up soon. Yeah, let me know down in the comments. What do you think of it all? Right, let's get home. Right guys, back at home now. We've got, I know this doesn't look too usual behind me, but we're making some few alterations to the studio. Just hit the 50,000 subscribers, making a few upgrades to make some more professional videos coming up. So this looks like a complete building site behind me. But anyway, yeah, back to the video. So yeah, good to get back, shower changed. And the thing that stood out for me, basically from that, from the 1K reps was the stride length. It really was so different between all of those shoes. So yeah, in the decathlon shoes, 
Um, the cadence was always about 198, 199 to 200 on all the shoes. But yeah, stride length on the Decathlons 1.54. Uh, New Balance is 1.59, on the Carbon X is 1.62, and the Nike is 1.65. So 11 centimeters extra for every single stride that Nike shoe is propelling me down the road. Um, and that works out to around about, in my usual cadence, to around about 21 meters for every minute of running, which is huge. That's putting the same effort in, exactly the same thing, and that shoe, every single minute, I'm moving down the road an extra 21 meters. And that's what all this technology is about. That's where the carbon plates are. You load up that carbon plate and it propels you that little bit further. So yeah, there in black and white, that shows the difference these shoes are making. So over the course of an hour, that's about 1.3K. Over the course of maybe three hours for an average marathon, nearly four kilometers extra that Nike shoe is working. But yeah, don't want to take away anything from that decathlon shoe. It's not a joke at all. It's a serious running shoe. And it was a lot better than I was expecting for such a tiny little price. I would say, oh, I didn't use it. They do a cushioned version for an extra five pounds. Yeah, go and check it out. If you're more of a budget runner, just running a couple of times a week in park runs and things, for that shorter thing, it's actually quite good. And as you saw on those 400s, it was exactly the same on those more expensive, the, exactly the same as those more expensive shoes. So yeah, check it out. Fairly decent shoe. I was quite surprised. So that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed following along today. Really enjoyed making this one. We've got loads of content coming up, starting with the big half marathon, which is going to be tomorrow. We're going to take the camera around. So yeah, do you want to win one of these legendary hats that we have for sale on the website just simply let me know down below in the comments what you think my finish time will be for the half marathon tomorrow the nearest person will win a hat and you've got to get your entries in very very quickly uh yeah you've got about sort of 18 odd hours before the race starts so entries will close on sunday at 9 a.m gmt here in the uk yeah, so good luck. So that's it guys, thank you very much for following along. And of course the support, you can buy the hats and the hoodies and the wraps and everything on the website and all the plans as well to help you on your journey. So that's it guys, we'll see you in the next one.